Welcome back everyone to my booster box opening of Breakthrough. So usually I don't have my box opening until the actual release date. I usually have just a half a box opening uh, during the pre-release season. But I was lucky enough this time around to be able to arrange to judge two pre-releases, which means that I was able to combine my uh, judge product for uh, judging those pre-releases into one big box. And it really came at a perfect time of the year um, with everything uh, financially going on with all the... Um, the, the mess with our floors this year, and of course having little Bernie with his bum leg, and having the client back out of uh, pledging for his surgery. Um, so being able to save a little bit money on a booster box is a fantastic thing. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and dive right in. There's so many awesome cards in this set, so many beautiful cards in this set. And we are definitely um, in a Mewtwo uh, EX uh, set. So I'm seeing that the pre-releases are very much like the next Destiny pre-releases, where if you pull a Mewtwo EX, you just pretty much run that and uh, 39 uh, Psychic Energy as your deck. So we have a Golding, Cyndaquil, Hippopotas, Cubone, Elgem, Magneton, Ursaring, and a Stunfisk. My reverse, ooh, Gengar. So we're starting off the box strong with one of my favorite Pokemon in reverse, and that is a rare reverse. And an evil tall hollow. So very awesome. Love the artwork on this one, and that's just a really nice looking hollow, too. Um, as far as the pre-release, other than, like I said, a lot of if you pull Mewtwo, a lot of people are just running nothing but psychic energy. Not really seeing a lot of other strong pre-release decks out there. A lot of um, Go-Goats, a pretty strong common and uncommon. But unfortunately, just um, I, have, I have another pre-release uh, uh, to do still. So maybe we still might see some variants of stuff. But uh, let's go on with the Cubone, Magnemite, Pikachu, Inke, Chespin, Primplup, Sandslash, and a Quilladin. My reverse is a Quilladin, and my rare is Ice Cream Vanillax. Um, is this? Oh, okay, sorry. I saw the the uh, the attack, and I just saw the the about flipping coins. I was like, oh, please tell me that they haven't actually reprinted the old um, Harkle so Silver era uh, Vanillax. I really did not like that card where. Um, yeah, you, you could uh, flip into a paralysis, you could flip your opponent into a paralysis and, and just get them stuck. I hated that. Zerua, <laughs> yeah, Meowth has been kind of uh, getting some some uh, cards lately. Last time uh, Inke was taking his berry and now he's stuck in the desert. Poor thing. Bronzor, Skiddo, Staryu, ooh, Rainbow Energy. Heavy Ball and Swoobat. We did get some really cool reprints in this set. Rainbow Energy, Heavy Ball, Floatstone, um, and being able to get some uh, some new stuff too, which I'm sure we'll be running into very soon. My reverse is a Goldeen. And my rare is Mr. Mine, but it is the Bench Barrier Mr. Mine that prevents all damage um, done by attacks. I don't think like it doesn't um, prevent Crobat drops or anything like that. But it's so cool to have a Mime to protect your bench. Snover, Rufflet, Scatterbug, Cacnea. Oh, hold on. Let's get that camera in focus. There we go. Cacnea, Snubble, Dedene. Uh, Reserve Ticket is one of the new ones. Um, not very good, though. Curlia. Um, since it relies on a coin flip in order for it to work. Uh, and then you get to search your... Uh, deck for any card, but eh, I don't know if we're going to see much play right now. Ooh, another rare reverse, Aromatis. I think that's a rare reverse. Yeah, it is. And my actual rare of the pack is my second hollow, Octillery. Um, ooh, I like its ability. Once during your, your turn, you can draw until you have five cards in your hand, and it's a stage one, so it's not that impossible to get out. Um, with cards like Shaman EX in the format, though, we really don't have a need for a stage one draw supporter like that right now. Um, but you never know what's going to get released in the future and what kind of combos will be available. Pancham, 
pan sear, vanillite, pan pour, <laughs> Ralts, vanillish, Mewtwo Spirit Link, and a Cacturn. My reverse is a Noibat, and my rare is a Simipore. So that was definitely a pack of monkeys. I think there were four monkeys, um, maybe only three. Uh, and then there was a, a other pan Pokemon, I believe, or something like that. No ultra rares though. Uh, I did so I did ask my PTO if I could combine my my judge boxes into one sealed box, just because that way you don't have to worry about getting the bad side of the box on either one. And I think they make for uh, better openings, give you a good idea of what you're actually going to probably pull as far as number of ultra rares. They also reprinted Skyla, so that's cool to see as well. And my reverse, ooh, Giovanni scheme. Um, so this is a really interesting, uh, definitely a new type of supporter where it has two effects and you have to, you get to choose one. You can either draw until you have five cards in your hand, um, or during this turn your attacks do 20 more damage. So very similar to, um, Parallel City, City that we're seeing where it has two effects and you get to choose which one, um, you're going to do. And my rare is a Cresselia. Now, we had some bit of terrible luck at the pre release yesterday. Now, I, I did judge it, but my fiancé um, played in it to hopefully get some, oop, uh, to get some stuff uh, to kick the collection off. And unfortunately, pulled nothing but one hollow in his first six packs. We were able to pull a full art Mewtwo from those last two, so made it worth it in the end. But we're, we were getting very concerned that that was going to be a very, very sad pre release day. Finishing off those commons and uncommons with a Quilladin. My rare, ooh, is the new Burning Energy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say my rare. I meant to say my reverse is the Burning Energy. And my rare, oh, it's a Glalie. So I complained about this card in my Japanese opening too. Um, no offense to Glalie, but I, I just, I don't see it as a legendary, or not a legendary, but I don't see it as a Pokemon that is like an ultra rare, that, that gets an EX. Um, I'm just so used to seeing Glalie on just normal rare cards. Now, I'll admit we don't see many Glalie, um, but it, it, I don't know, it's just a weird card for me to see um, as an ultra rare. But regardless, we have hit the first ultra rare of the box, so um, we should still have several more coming up, and hopefully some of these new break cards. Chespin, Bronzor, Froki, Panpour, Cyndaquil. Sorry, the camera is going a little in and out. Um, Assault Vest, that's another new tool. Um, I forget what it does. Oh, just reduced by 40. Vanillish and Snorlax. Saw a lot of this combo, putting Assault Vest on Snorlax, um, since Snorlax is just an uncommon. Um, so your attacks are getting reduced by 7, or your opponent's attacks are getting reduced by 70. And there is a Reverse Haunter to go with that Reverse Ghastly. And my rare is a Parasect, but that's one that I don't have yet, so that's still fine. Um, since I'm not planning on ordering a second uh, booster box, since um, I was able to earn this one, that will put my pack openings a little little fewer than, than last time, since I am used to opening up half a box for judge support, as well as um, a box for the opening. But like I said, finances this time around, especially uh, right after doing the MO, ooh, there's one of those parallel cities, um, the, the playoffs recently, well, I should say, as of yesterday, um, hope everyone tuned in. That was a really exciting opening for me. Um, but anyways, uh, with, with all of that, good to cut back and a few other areas to cover that. So my reverse is a Zerua, and my rare is a Gengar Hollow. So this is my first duplicate Gengar, and I haven't actually looked at the attack if it's... Um... Well, I mean, it's not bad. It's just, uh, Gengar being a stage 2 Pokemon, we our format right now really doesn't allow stage 2s to set up fast, nearly fast enough. Maxi and Archie help, but obviously Gengar um, doesn't fit with that. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if I'll be hanging on to spare Gengars for potential decks. Noibat, Piplup, 
We also have a reprint of Super Rod, and I love Super Rod. I love having the option of energy or Pokemon to go back into your deck. I will probably have a Super Rod in all of my decks, um, just because I am I am terrible about having you know my tech Pokemon in my opening hand and having no choice but Juniper, and then I'm screwed the rest of the game otherwise. And there's our first break card. So they are taking the reverse hollow position in the set as far as when you open them up, and this is actually the first chest chestnut uh, break card that I've seen. That's a really nice looking card. Um, lots of break cards in the set. I honestly have no, no idea how many of them exactly, but uh, so we should still, we should probably get a few more. Um, Staraptor is my rare. And we're moving along all right through this box. I'm actually trying to get this box opening done before I judge the second pre-release. My judge of my PTO is nice enough to um, let me have my box uh, while I was technically only halfway through my work. But that allowed for me to get this opening done a little bit earlier so that you guys will have it first thing Monday. There's another that reprint of the Floatstone and Houndoom Spirit Lake, and I am hoping to pull some Houndoom EX. And there is our second break card! <laughs> so, back-to-back -back break cards. Now we have Raichu. Um, really like just new mechanic card. I'm really excited to see how that's going to play out. Um, Raichu break cards go on top of Raichu. Still counts as, like, evolving it. It's just a really cool idea. And Abame Snow is my non holo rare. So, so far, I really haven't, I haven't really been paying attention, though, to the break cards as far as their attacks, but I haven't really heard any of them getting enough uh, talk that, that they're going to be seen in, um, in, in decks coming up, but I really hope that we're going to see some, just because it's such a, a cool idea. Um, it's kind of like the Legend cards, where you had the half arts, and you had to have both halves of the card in order to get it out. I think the breaks are a little easier, um, just because you can already have one on the bench, you don't have to play both at the same time. So, my reverse is a Braviary, and my rare is another Staraptor. Aww. So, I don't know if we're... We're probably about the halfway point of the box. It's kind of hard to tell. Um, the packs are starting to slip a little bit towards me. Snubble, Cubone, Magnemite, and I am so sorry this keeps going in and out of focus. Pikachu, Inke, Giovanni Scheme, and, oh, sorry, Ursaring and a Fisherman. So we have a reprint of Fisherman as well. My reverse is an Axew. And my rare is another Paraset. So we pulled those couple of hollows at the very beginning, Evil Tall and, uh, oh, what was it? Octillery. Octillery and Evil Tall, but I think those are my only hollows since. Oh, I, sorry, I think I did the card trick wrong. Um, I think I put down the wrong two. So, Snubble, Hippopotas, Piplup, Doduo, Remoraid, Frogadier, Haunter, and a Granbull. My reverse is a Remoraid, and my rare is a Halucha. So, more non hollow rares. And still, my only, like, well, I guess the, even though the break cards are taking the spot of uh, the reverses, I still think they count as ultra rares. I honestly have not looked at the, um, if there's anything on the card to, to differentiate it. Skido, Staryu, Paris, Doduo, Ghastly, Piloswine, Assault Vest, and Vanillish. My reverse is a town map, so another uh, reprint. And my rare is just a semi seer. So I like that we're seeing a lot of reprints of cards that we haven't seen reprinted that often, like Floatstone. Um, I thought that was a fantastic card. Um, and, and Super Rod, I think Super Rod I'm most excited about. Sacred Ash was okay, um, just didn't really do the trick for me. I really like having the option of energy as well as Pokemon, just because you never know what your um, situation is going to be. Mewtwo Spirit Link, and A, there's that Go-Goat. I was telling you, a lot of people are running at pre-releases just because it's, not, it's an uncommon. Curlia is my reverse, and my rare... Oh, yes! Full Art Mega Houndoom. Oh, sorry, I gotta stretch up above me for some sleeves. 
Oh, that's a nice, oh, that's such a beautiful card. Oh, and my battery's dying, so I think this is a good point just to take a break. Oh, that is so nice. We have the attack in Japanese, Inferno Fang. This is just one of the nicest looking cards. And, uh, I don't know, Houndoom has just always been one of my favorite Pokemon, so it's so great to see it printed as an ultra rare again. All right, let's continue after that beautiful, beautiful Houndoom. So that is now the second ultra rare of the box. So feeling a little bit better. Um, I know we didn't have a dud box now and moving right along. Um, let's switch it up a little bit and just put the rare and the reverse in the back. And all right. So let's come on camera. I don't know why my camera is having such a hard time focusing lately. Seems to want to pick up on the background and really not pick up on the picture as, as clear as I'd like it to be. All right, Meowth, Ghastly, Elgem, Akshu, Froki, Vanillish, Snorlax, Spupa, Akshu is my reverse, and Simipore is my rare. Uh, I have been seeing a lot of, well, I've been watching more openings lately, um, especially with this pack battle um, tournament. And been noticing that a lot of other people, they still do the card trip, but instead of putting the cards down to make sure that they are keeping them secret, um, just putting them in the back and showing them like this. And really didn't know if people would prefer that. It does make the packs go a little bit faster, which is nice on these longer booster boxes. Um, ooh, that is my first Buddy Buddy Rescue. Um, each, uh, each player gets a Pokemon from their discard pile to put back into their hand. Pilo Swine is my rare. And another Parasect is my reverse. So, um, I might just do that kind of style just for the end of these booster boxes. Just uh, after you see the commons and uncommons. I know a lot of people get really um, bored of seeing the same cards over and over again. And it is fun to change things up a little bit. Scatterbug. Cacnea. Snubble. Cubone. Magnemite. Curlia. Starmie. Seeking. My reverse is an Elgium, and my rare is another Halucha. My only complaint right now is just getting the camera to really focus in on these cards. I do, uh, I've been, well, I've been told um, more so by my fiance lately that I really need to get a new camera, that it's uh, really starting to struggle to put out the same quality videos as it used to. Hoot Hoot, Remoraid, Pikachu, another Remoraid. Oh, okay, two different Remoraids. Um, Akshu, Granbull, Bohemian, another town map. Staryu is my reverse, and Staraptor is my rare. Still have plenty of cards left to go through. Um, two Ultra Rares, two Break cards so far, so we're already doing really well. Pansage, Hippopotas, Piplup, Doduo, another Assault Vest, Breakson, Pile of Swine, Vanillish is my Reverse, and Bronzong is my Rare. Have not seen a Bronzong yet. And I also have not seen um, one of the other new supporters. Uh, Bridget or something like that. It either lets you search for an EX or you get to choose three basic Pokemon, I think. And I might have messed up the card trick there. We'll, um, we'll, 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 we'll find out. Swablu, Flebebe, come on, focus camera. Akshu, Scatterbug, Teddy Ursa, Wobbuffet, Frogadier, um, well, this wasn't the one I was talking about, but this is one of the newer reprints, uh, Judge. My reverse is a Sandshrew, and my rare is a Vanillix. So I did not mess the card, trip, card trick up. Unfortunately, did not get any... Huh, I just, again, I just realized that I'm... Where are the hollows? Um, we're getting a lot of non-hollow rares, but the hollows are nowhere to be seen. <laughs> Swine Up, Sandshrew, Meow, Pancham... Fennekin, Houndoom Spirit Link, ooh, Floet, another Brakeson, Staraptor is my reverse, 
And there is our first Mewtwo. So uh, there are, there's like four different Mewtwo's. You have two different Mewtwo EXs, I believe, um, two different Mega Mewtwo's, and then of course you still have the, the full art version, and I believe there's a secret rare. So many Mewtwo's in this set. So, um, box is already looking very exciting, and actually very like my first two, um, Japanese equivalent boxes, uh, Mewtwo's and uh, Mewtwo, Glalie, and Houndooms. So um, that's kind of interesting. The break cards are, are actually different though. So Axew, Woobat, and hold on right quick, uh, I see here my dog's barking. Sorry about that. For me, that ended up being a very long break that I will explain after this pack. Goldeen, Teddy Ursa, Scatterbug, Printplup, Reserve Ticket, oh, sorry, there goes the Floet. There's a Reverse Judge, yes, I am really excited about Judge being reprinted just because I have, I still have a few Judges from uh, when it was in the uh, Heart Gold to Silver era, so really excited to be able to pull those back out and uh, reuse them. And Mega Mewtwo EX. So, uh, like I said, there there's 10 Mewtwo in this set. So, so many Mewtwo. It's bound that we pull a few of them. So, there is a beautiful Mega Mewtwo to go with our regular Mewtwo. So, awesome. That is, uh, so let's see, what are we up to? Three regular EX, one full art EX, and one break card. Oh, I'm sorry, two break cards. Um, so, I don't know if, uh... If we're going to get any more than that, that's already one, two, three, four, that's six ultra rares so far. And I really don't know if the, um, but we have a ton of packs left and we haven't hit any hollows barely, just those two, I think. So anyways, let me explain that long break. Um, so for you guys, it was only a second. For me, it was several hours because when I went out to see what the dogs were up to, found that one had is broken his invisible fence line and was hanging out in the neighbor's yard. And by the time I got him back in and uh, got done chatting with our neighbors, um, who fortunately uh, are very um, our dogs are friendly anyway, so they, they really don't mind when he does that, um, other than just concerned for his own safety, going into the road and everything like that. And by the time I got him back in, it was time for me to leave to judge uh, my second pre-release. So, Professor's Letter and Staravia. My reverse is Panseer. And my rare is Simi Sage. So we still have maybe 10 packs left, and now that I, so uh, when I first started recording this, um, the playoffs had not taken place uh, for the Major League Pack Battles. Now they have, and I was able to, ca I uh, couldn't watch the whole video yet, but I caught just a little bit of my opponent, Cincinnati Crobats, um, opening, and I believe I have clinched my spot in week two of the playoffs, um, which is essentially top four. My reverse, ooh, Glalie Spirit Link. And my rare is another Bronzong. So assuming um, that I'm wrecked, uh, wrecked, <laughs> sorry, right, just played Pokemon, um, pulled a, I think only two points from his packs, um, and I was able to pull seven from mine, so I thought I had a pretty good shot. Um, so if I am right, um, and, and of course, I, I, I right after this video, I should have watched it beforehand, but I really wanted to get back to this booster box opening um, that I completely forgot to really just check. But I believe I'm in, uh, continue on in the playoffs, I'm just really excited about that. Cyndaquil, Spritzy, Remoraid, Axew, Woobat, Brakeson, Piloswine, and Houndoom Spirit Link. My reverse is a Ralts, and my rare is an Apple May Snow. So are there are there just not many hollows in this set? Uh, I did have a list of the cards in this set up, but I uh, think my computer has since shut down since I left. Magnemite, Noibat, Ralts, Skiddo, Mischievous, Prinplup, Haunter, and Cacturn. My reverse is Meowth.
yes, I will not have to trade for a reverse Meowth. Um, the last set, I think I pulled five reverse Meowths. And all right, we have another Hollow Empoleon. So its ability, each basic Pokemon attacks is 20 more. Why? Uh, I really don't understand why they keep on making basic Pokemon stronger and stronger and stronger. And these poor Stage 2 um, Pokemon, I mean, you have to have Maxi and Archie now. Those are the, on the only Stage 2 Pokemon that really consistently work, work because of Archie or Maxi. It's, I don't, I'm sorry if that's a bit of a rant, but it's very frustrating um, wanting to see evolution cards back into the game, wanting to see that skill come back, um, the, the difficulty in searching out a particular um, you know, card in the evolution line for you to be able to play. Finally, we're hitting some Bridget and Giovanni. Uh, so yeah, Empoleon's ability is a little upsetting when it it's making basic Pokemon stronger and stronger. I mean, that's the problem, is that EXs are basic Pokemon, and we don't need EXs to be able to do any more damage. My reverse is Chatot. And my rare is another Evil Tall, I think. So, hold on. I think... Well, I might do a little recap video at the end, um, just because, well, I do have some packs from the pre-release to add to this. Um, maybe I'll just do a recap video later on in the week that'll include um, the results from this pack, or this box, as well as the results from my pre-release. Mischievous, Hoot Hoot, Cyndaquil, Spritzy, Remoraid, Dedene, oh, that's a cute Dedene. Glalie Spirit Link and a Skyla. My reverse is a Swoobat. And my rare, uh, I think that's a set the second Aromatisse. So now we're getting down to the last few packs. Looks like five left or so. Oh, sorry, I did the card trick wrong. Put down four and five at first. All right, Hoot Hoot, Elgem, Akshu, Froki, Mischievous, Reserve Ticket, Floet, Assault Vest. Oh, Assault Vest and Snorlax has so far been the simplest um, basic combo that I've seen at the pre-releases. Snorlax reduces all damage done to it by 20, uh, 20 or 30, I believe. Um, and then Assault Vest does another 40. I think Snorlax's ability is 30. Ooh, Reverse Town Map. So it reduces by 70 each turn. And my rare is a knocked out. Um, so I was helping a, uh, a kid with his... Um, oh no, it wasn't that deck. Um, sorry, I was actually thinking of the other Pokemon. Uh, yeah, so we, we had a lot of late uh, entries in our pre-release today. Um, a lot of younger uh, kids misunderstood and thought that the tournament started at the league time. Um, rather than two hours earlier. So we had a lot of people show up later, and, and unfortunately, since they had to miss a few of the rounds, um, since they just didn't have time to build their decks. So we're scrambling to build decks, and, and it's funny. It was some One little kid was so upset that he could not play his uh, break Marowak because he didn't pull a regular Marowak. Um, it's, it's just cute to see some of these kids uh, play with the, the brand new cards. My reverse is a Scatterbug. And my rare is the Marowak. Oh, no wonder few pe so many or so few people could have played that. I thought Marowak was at least an uncommon. So, and, and I knew like Raichu. Um, uh, well, yeah, I guess. What are my break cards? Chestnut and Raichu. Yeah, so both of those would be rares. Uh, there's a Zorark break. So maybe they were all, um, they all had to be played on rares. I actually did see a few people that pulled the complete break lines. Now, I don't know. Um, I only saw one that was able to get his up and going, and it was a junior that was a first-time player, and so he may not have just shuffled his deck very well. Um, but I'm, I really, I don't, I, I like the mechanic of break. It just doesn't seem to, um, it doesn't have enough right now to be extremely playable. The, the, the competitive players don't really seem excited about the break cards. And another Noctowl. We just pulled a Noctowl. Okay. 
Uh, so we are down to the last three packs. Um, we pulled three ho no, sorry, four hollows. We did pull the second evil tall. And maybe with the break cards, there just aren't as many hollows in the set. Um, that would make sense. And... Hold on, I do have... I, uh, okay, my computer didn't restart, so I do have it. Uh, Chestnut, Villian... Uh, no, there's plenty of hollows. Three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thir thirteen, four, at least thirteen, maybe fourteen hollows. Um, so that this is a really weird box. So I'm at least going to do a, a little recap at the end, um, just to kind of sh show off some of the highlights of the cards. Ralts, Skiddo, Mischievous, Swablu, Flabebe, Town Map. Buddy Buddy Rescue. That, that's that been an interesting one. Stunfisk. My reverse is a Snorlax. And I just noticed the chest been falling out of the tree. <laughs> and oh, my rare is another Marowak. So we are down to two packs. Um, that's just a little disappointing. Multiple hollows. Uh, like like duplicate hollows. I, do, I never like seeing um, duplicates in boxes. Uh, especially when... You know, there's there's 14 other cards, but oh well. Um, I'm I'm already really stoked about all the the six ultra rares that have been pulled so far. So I I really can't complain about a lack of hollows. I am sure there are plenty of people out there that are going to be pulling those hollows, and hopefully some of them will be uh, some of you guys will be willing to trade. My reverse is Pancham, and my rare a second full art. <laughs> God, it's a Glalie, though. Uh, so, not complaining at all. This is fantastic. Two full arts in a box. Um, I really, I'm trying to think, uh, um, my boxes lately haven't been doing that great. I think I've had a couple of really good boxes in the last uh, couple of years, but some of them have just been a little blessed. So, um, again, my the source of this box um, isn't anything that's going to help you guys out. Well, maybe it will. Um, I believe it's Dark Moon Games is the website of my PTO, and she's uh, the Pokemon tournament organizer, the one that uh, organizes most of the, uh, the North, actually I think she does all the North Carolina events now, um, and does have product for sale. So uh, obviously not breakthrough yet, can't sell that until the actual release date, uh, but if, as far as source goes, uh, that is my source for, my, uh, for this box, my PTO, um, these were my earnings from judging to pre-releases, and um, yeah, she gets her stuff directly from um, Pokemon uh, distributing, yeah, distributors, however you want to call that. Swinub, Ralts, Panseer, Meowth, Ghastly, Glalie Spirit Link. Well, I've got the Glalies for it. <laughs> uh, Skyla and a Prinplup. My reverse is a Wubat. And my rare, let it be a hollow, let it be hollow, is a Smeargle. So, uh, very weird hollow pulls. Seven ultra rares. I'm so excited about that, um, especially after our very poor pulls at the pre-release um, yesterday. Um, unfortunately, my fiancé was working today, so I, he couldn't come along and uh, play while I judge, so we don't have more packs for you guys today, unfortunately. Um, let me sort through this real quick, and let's give a little recap. Alright, so here's a quick little recap of the best cards from this opening. So, we have a nice stack of supporters, trainers, and special energy. I'll be keeping, of the new stuff, um, eight of each. 26 rares. Um, so with the break cards coming in the reverse spot, that means that you're getting a lot more rares even though you're pulling more ultra rares. 26 of them. Plenty of duplicates, too. We also have a handful of reverse trainers that just, wow, two town maps. Yeah, see, I just, I just don't like duplicates. I'm a collector. I want different cards. Um, otherwise, though, at least it's still a trainer. We have a few rare reverses. Um, only five, unfortunately, of the, uh, what, 36 packs um, minus two break. So um, 34, so 29 common and uncommon reverses. 
And I was completely wrong. I did not realize that Gengar was a hollow. So um, we'd actually pulled five hollows uh, rather than the four that I thought. Um, unfortunately, the evil talls are duplicates. Um, but I don't think that I'm going to be hanging on to uh, the duplicate evil tall, so I will have uh, that one spare. And the one hollow that we did pull at the pre release was a Haxorus. So at least it uh, did not match. Uh, the common and uncommon reverses, no need to really go through those. Um, you'll see them in the complete set video. And then the stack of ultra rares. So beautiful break cards, chestnut, Raichu, and then the EXs. <laughs> Glalie, <laughs> Mewtwo, Mega Mewtwo, Full Art Glalie, and full art Mega Houndoom. So excited about these pulls. And this is why I wanted to combine my two half boxes into a one sealed box. Just so you don't risk um, only, you know, I, I didn't keep track of what was on what side. Uh, you know, who knows who might have been able to pull what. And I just love being able to open a sealed box and knowing that um, everything's just even. So thanks everyone for watching. Stay tuned this week. I still have two tins to open up. We still have four boxes of Japanese break stuff to open up. And I think I'm still going to stick with my plan of doing smaller videos for that. Um, so lots of great stuff coming up and I will probably have a incomplete set coming up, um, a set vid coming up soon so you can see what um, most of the set looks like. And then of course we have trade binder updates uh, because I still need to trade for the rest of the set too. So hope everyone has enjoyed, enjoyed the playoffs videos. And like I said, I think I'm in the next, uh, next week. So um, we'll be able to do that as well. So hope everyone has enjoyed. We'll stay tuned and thanks so much for watching.